While glass looks great, it also must perform. Part of that performance relates to acoustics, whether it's large, dramatic panels used for the exterior of the building or smaller panels used to create indoor partitions, glass acoustics matter. If you are designing a project for a noisy environment, there are several things you need to take into consideration. We're going to cover the definitions of two ratings, Sound Transmission Class, or STC, and Outdoor Indoor Transmission Class, or OITC. We will also cover the design requirements for selecting the right glazing system as well as how to calculate an STC or OITC rating. STC is for interior building partitions where the main sounds are people talking or office equipment. OITC is for exterior walls where the sound is coming from outside sources, such as cars. The OITC rating is especially important to architects since it can have the largest impact on building performance. Now that we've defined the terms, let's move into design. Just like any other part of the design process, you need to start with the basic system requirements. Some of the first questions to ask are, where will the sound come from and how much sound is there? These questions are important because the sound reduction properties of materials, including glass, vary depending on the wavelength of the sound. Here are a few simple steps to follow. First, determine the glazing system that has the best noise reduction properties. When using monolithic glass, Increasing the glass thickness can help. When using laminated glass, you can increase the glass thickness or use different glass thicknesses for individual glass lights. When using insulated glass units, there are several options available, including increasing glass thickness, increasing the airspace between the glass lights, evaluating different glass fills, spacers and sealant materials, or using a laminated component for one or both of the glass lights. Other factors that contribute to the acoustical properties of a building's window system include the framing system. It's important to note that certain glass characteristics, such as low emissivity coatings, tints, and even low iron substrates, do not impact acoustic ratings. After you select the glazing, then you need to determine the STC or OITC rating that the entire system needs to deliver, not just the glass. Remember, the STC and OITC rating numbers equate to how many decibels of noise are reduced by the glazings. That's why a higher number is better. Finally, the building's envelope system also plays a role with glass acoustical performance, making proper installation critical. For many projects, glass acoustics can be just as important as glass aesthetics. Determine where your sound is coming from, do a noise measurement, and then determine the best glazing for your project. For more information about glass acoustical performance or to ask any other glass questions, please visit vitroglazings.com or call 855-VTRO-GLS, 855-887-6457.